viewers today i'm feel delighted to teach you some few uh, beginning tips for beginners using microsoft word uh, 2016 2016 is the microsoft word we're gonna use for this and once you open the page like this one is a called a document uh, we have some information for example you can come here you type this kind of information once you type the information here, you can highlight and you come to home menu. At the home menu, you have the, the button for bold. You can click there, this button for bold. As you can see here, you have the button for bold. Uh, you can press add line. And as you can see, the content is being added. You can change the font from Times New Roman to a different type of font. As you can see, we have different types of font. <laughs> which is changing as you can go down we have seen that this font by the name Hobo standard you can just change that one to a Hobo standard font uh, in case you want the color just click here and you change the color that you want uh, some colors here you can see they are not enough you can just go for more colors once you click more colors now you can choose the color which is now maybe desired to or you are supposed to put just put for example that one and click ok that's how you Put the color you can go back to home menu again and now either increase the size of the font or decrease the size of the font so as you can see how it is increasing and you can still use this one for decreasing font as you can see you can keep decreasing uh, the moment you are decreasing now it goes up to one sentence in this case now we have the other content i can just choose uh, I write this content and now format as usual. In this case, you need to go to form uh, and just uh, you can just create right click there and click uh, collapse uh, the ribbon to avoid that uh, that uh, menu which is just hiding automatically. In this case, for example, here you need to right click there. Uh, once you right click there, you can just come and ignore that. And as for this one, you can just put space. You can just try to put, a, for example, this Kenya, right click, and try to make sure that you collect your errors and you can ignore where necessary. You can keep ignoring the where necessary, for example, that information. Once you ignore that information, now you can come, you highlight the information. You can put italic or italized using I. For italics, as you can see, this it is I for italic or control I when you are using shortcut. Uh, you can change the font to a different font. For example, I can just come and change that font. Uh, I increase the size a bit and I change the color. As you can see, you can choose to put that uh, different color. As you can see, we have different types of color just pull like that and say okay while you are doing that you can just align center the content can be aligned center once you are in the center now you can choose now to do something else i need to put maybe for example some content again there are more of the content just here i can just come here and uh, take some of the content for example the projection uh, we have the, about the projection uh, about that information there i can just highlight and uh, copy and i put now the content out of my page here I can just come here in this case content of mind here i can just paste to the first content i can choose another one here and i do the same for example marketing planning I can just come here i write like this uh, up to here for example up to there i can just highlight those content just copy them there just come here and i paste them is how you want to copy paste the document and keep adding them there in your list and this content here you can choose now to put this content into paragraph form i can just highlight the content then add a, come here 
we have some uh, menus here you have the layout as you can see and you have other references for me i need to do the columns so i just go to the layout click column and just come to more columns once you click more columns just adjust the number of columns you want one two three or four five depending the columns for me i'm interested with three columns i just put three columns and put a uh, line between and for this one i need to do the selected text you not know, the whole document and i click ok as you can see now my content it is appearing in form of a, a quorum that is how we insert quorum in microsoft word then i need to do something else for example if we are typing some content now yeah, it is still appearing in form of a column so you need to click at the end of the center there put your cursor there then you click to more column to columns and the layout menu and you click more columns choose one column then uh, and apply to click this point forward once you put this point forward you say okay you can see automatically the cursor will go up to this side now the content where by now i want to put there automatically for this will now appearing in form of a hot it will just appear this content in, is in one just paragraph in one without the quorum as you can see the content now it is appearing that as you can see at my top we have a normal thing so we have the columns and have the other one which is here down let me just highlight this content and I put borders. In borders, you need to come here. Uh, we choose, uh, we have at the design, you need to click design. Then at the end here of that design, you can see we have page border. In the page border, then you see we have something called uh, page border and we have borders. I can do all of them together. Page border will affect the entire page. I can just come here and choose one of my favorite. For example, I need to choose that one. Once I choose that one, or I can choose a different one. As you can see, you have a variety of them. And because they are very tiny, you can just increase the width up to there. And you go to borders. You can put the 3D border. And you come and choose the line you want for example i need that uh, kind of a line then after you put that kind of a line there uh, we have this one which is now page board i can go to the shading for shading i can just come here and i choose that kind of a that kind of a color for example that one so you can see how it look like and now I click OK. So we have border, page border, and shading. Let's see how it will affect. This one you can see it is the entire page. That is the page border. This this one now here. This one is the one which is called now page border. This one we have yellow is shading, and this is a border. This now the border. In this border now you can put a drop cap. In a drop cap you can just highlight one only one letter. Once I write one letter, then at the insert menu, you can look where you see the drop cap. The insert menu there, you can just go up to here and you see there is a drop cap. We have dropped, that is how it look like, and we have in margin, that is how it look like. So I'm interested with in margin. Then you can see it is appearing at that side. And just click there and drag retro bit inside up there and you can see that's how it will look like that is the content for drop cap in this case you can just to uh, to underline this one let's go to home and you come to underline i need to underline this one i can just highlight underline and this one as you can see then in this case it means this first letter you want to put a drop cap insert you click 
go to drop cup and insert and click dropped uh, you highlight the other one like that uh, insert dropped but you can see this one is affecting the title so it means to avoid that one you can just come here and press enter once you press enter you see now we have this content here you can just press enter a bit and just now highlight as and you come now you put the drop cup this one still you can do the same you can highlight like that one and you come put the drop cup as i put different drop cups and still you can change the font of that drop cup for example to a different one for example you can see we have a variety of them there you can uh, continue scrolling and choose maybe the one you see maybe it's okay with you as you can see we have that kind of one and because you can see it is already hidden a bit just click there and just drag a bit like that so that they can appear in a very good manner that is now the letter itself i can highlight this letter come here i change to a different one for example that one you can see we have a variety of them has come we choose the one which pleases you for example that one that is how you put drop cup columns border page border among others and now when you see the page is almost done as you can see we have, we have now page one with written words so i need just to press enter to jump to the second call uh, to the second page this second page i can show you how to do uh, several things uh, as for this one you need to go to file to insert and i can deal with the pictures here you can see at the insert we have the table uh, pictures online pictures and we have others let me do the table first table just you got to click there and now we have insert table we have draw table and we have excel spreadsheet now click table as for me i need to insert table let's click there and now you adjust the number of columns you want for example four columns or five columns by six or seven uh, rows you can just click ok and you can see now my table it is there in case you want to form other table highlight the table by clicking there and now choose other design there choose one of your favorite design as you can see we have variety of those designs for me you can choose maybe that one or this one or this one if i choose that one no problem just click that one and see how my table is formatted uh, on top of that i may choose to do something called merging cells i need to combine all these cells so i need to I write the, like that then i write click and i choose merge cells that's how you merge cells and become one now uh, if i case i need to merge this going down there i need to I write then i right click then I come merge cells. That's how you merge cells for the table. In case you want to split the table, uh, the cell, you can just click without the writing. Then you right click. You see split cell. And I put, for example, three column and one row. And one uh, rows. Then I click OK. As you can see here, this one has been splitted into three main cells. Now you can put the information you want in the table. For example, you can come here and put uh, search uh, student uh, time table. Then you put, for example, year 2017. Then you can write the content like that. And now go to home increase the size as usual as you can see can you increase then you come here put like that and then you put now the the break for example break to the content there and you put now the 
other content you want in case you want to increase the size just increase the size like that this is how you need to deal with inserting tables let me go to to something else i need to go to pictures in starting pictures just go to insert menu and click picture uh, we have a variety of pictures which can be uh, in the computer now we are using that means when you talk about those pictures they are mostly found now in the computer and we have now the varieties of them uh, you can just come for example we need that one i just need to, uh, to come here and I can come I increase a bit of size you can see that example of a picture I'm talking about uh, you can come to another one you just insert a picture there and you choose now a different types of picture for example that one as you can see when I come I choose another picture a different one uh, for example uh, that one you can keep inserting pictures just go to insert and you come to picture now choose the one you want as you can see those are examples of those different pictures i have inserted uh, with those picture now i can choose now to remodify a little bit as you can see that is how original they were you can start by this uh, i can come here to check the, the color you can see originally it, how it looked like and now you can change to a black and white or a different types of color for example washout or watermark you can see it is appearing just faded and so you can you can click this one and now start by changing this one to be a black and white you can click there and change a different one for example that one that is how you can keep changing them uh, on top of that we have picture styles here you can come for example that one you can choose a shape you can see those different shapes and you can see how it is appearing let me choose for example this round metal oval and i can put the color of that one picture border you can put for example green then we have the picture effect for example this picture effect still you need to click the picture and you come you put as you can see how it will look like for example that one there is one there is one and that one which is maybe the favorite i can choose for example that one or this one as you can see how it is appearing it's now appearing a different types of the picture now I need this one I can come here I put for example a different design I need that one just come I put or this one as you can see this one come I change to a different one I change the effect for example you have the shadow you can put that kind of a shadow and you can put as many effect as possible for example that one and you can keep changing those picture effect of different types will give you a different designs so you can see to give you a different designs and a different types of them like for example that one this is how those pictures now will look like so the other day you see now those have different types of pictures which are already formatted that is how you format the picture in different styles uh, then we have about the online pictures you need to when you are in the you are in the internet so that you can access those online pictures but when you're offline you need to ignore that one and then we go to shapes shapes uh, you can see variety of shapes i need to come to different types of shapes you can see here for example that shape and just come here and just click and i draw like that then i can just come here and say we 
don't uh, want uh, corruption as you can see the content but is not appearing you can just try to in increase the size a bit and you can see and then uh, on this side you can see we have types of shapes i can just come here i choose this uh, smiley face and now you can see you can draw the smiley face like that one but you can click here and try to drag it a little bit you see that the person who is talking about we don't want corruption but sound ironical when somebody saying you don't want corruption is smiling so you can just click that person there and just make him sand uh, then click and drag like that as you can see now that one that person looks sand when you talk about uh, he doesn't want corruption you can just click there and reformat that shape with the different types of colors you can see they are very nice choose that one and come here change a different one that you wish to put maybe for that one you can just put that one on this one on that one there are very many of them let me just put for example that one here's how it looks like those are shapes and you can draw as many shapes as possible and you don't you are not limited for those shapes you can draw as many shapes as possible as you wish uh, because there are very very many you can just come and draw like them you need to right click and now come and click add text so that you can tell somebody uh, keep left can just kind of tell somebody keep left for example you need to write something there you can just write keep left and now put the color you want for that shape if i'm interested in that color or that one or this one you can just come i put that one and you can see with the content keep left you can highlight and increase a bit size a precise size eh? Uh, up to there it is uh, how you can draw that one and you can draw as many shapes as possible to show that uh, uh, this one you just draw a different types of shapes uh, here you have different types of shapes you can draw them and light what you want in that shape you are drawing and come build up making what you want with all the shapes you can see you can make them and uh, end up getting what you wanted like that your shape still can be more modified either by colors you just right click like that and you come you put a different example that one or a different one for example this and you can put a different one for example that and those shapes still you can right click and you click add shape again yes you can light what you want for example search em kenya right search em kenya there as the content uh, here you can write about uh, the the shining star you can type that kind of a content and write here what you want let's add clicks uh, and put now always bright you can put that kind of a, a content to you know this error you can right click and click kenya is how you do with the shapes and then 
we have something else uh, called smartart. Uh, for this smartart, you can just try to create to create a 